Okay, then we're on to Egan. Uh, I'm just going to prepare to shoot. Okay, Jerome? Preparing to shoot. Oh, my God. Okay, well, then we're back to initiative. Don't forget your plus one initiative for haste. You didn't cast haste on me. I cast haste on everyone. I, I was talking to a party. Shut up. Imagine if haste actually affected everybody in a circle like around you. Well, there are lots of spells where it, it's just a blanket area of effect. Like that's how sleep works. If your your allies are in the area, it sucks to be them. <laughs> Okay, I assume you're still waiting, Leon? Yes. Okay, then Vincent? Uh, I am remaining hidden and I guess making a perception check. Okay, go nuts. Nope. Already in action to slow it if it comes in range. Okay. What's the range on slow? Close. Ugh, that's unfortunate for you. Yeah. I don't have a lot of great spells here, honestly. Okay, so he'll move to there and then breathe on the two he can see. Oh, baby. Look at all those ones. What a terrible, terrible roll. You need to fail the save, Egan. What's the save? Uh, Reflex. 18. Yes. Reflex. My reflex is... Six. I did not fail it. Take your shots. Alrighty. Uh, I get three, correct? Because it's haste. Or is it no, only one? You do not get an extra attack for readied actions with haste. You get one only attack delay. When, with a delayed oh. action. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. There we Why go. Why is a 17 green on your longbow? Oh, it's okay. So that's not a crit. That's just a hit then. Oh. You can make what it a crit you? with your affiliation. <clears throat> that's crit? all right. Do you crit on 19? Uh, no, not with a bow. Uh, that's just a D10 plus three. Five points of damage if you want to mark it down, John. Oh, well, it's right there in front of you, isn't it? Oh. That's not five points of damage. Yeah, it is. No. Two plus three. Five. Oh, oh, I thought the damage was in your macro there. No, no. that's Joe's attack, no. but Joe missed. Oh. Yeah, no, that's not that's not my damage, great. sadly. You're fantastic. Did you mark your damage? Uh do 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 Let me scroll up so I can actually access this shit. Minus five. Damage is marked. It's like five squares from you. Why would you need to scroll for that? Because I had I was scrolled all the way down because I figured you'd be coming in from the bottom. This is like the third time he's attacked you from the top. I know, I figured he'd he'd fucking roll around and try to get us from the bottom this time. I don't know. You don't know. That's where the screen was. That That's my point, is I don't know, so I was just a, taking a wild guess at where he might be. Fair enough. You said you were casting slow, Vincent? Yep. Go nuts. Uh, that worked, so roll me a forward to save. Hmm. 
Nothing but net. <laughs> you already used it. Okay, then he will continue on his way. At what point is a tactical retreat okay? <laughs> Probably when we run out of healing spells. He's giving us several rounds between attacks to heal. I was going to say, I mean, it shouldn't be that bad. We sh We honestly should be able to kill him. I mean... Sad. I mean, I only did five points damage, which sucks with my bow, but, I mean, is what it is. It's damage. Okay, again, you're up. All right. Yeah, I'm going to hold my action until he appears again. Okay, then we're I under your own. spell. You need what? All my shit is... I said, I need, I need reach spell. All my shit is close range. What you need, you need is far spell. spell. Far spell, yeah, that's the one. Reach is making touch spells. Uh, that's right. That's okay. why yeah, Orion has fucking in crazy range with shit, is because I have auto far on zero through three and long range shit. Just I can reach out and touch half a mile. Okay, you doing anything, Jerome? going to sit here and hold a shot. Actually, just so I hit him, I'm going to cast Greater Heroism on myself. Give me a plus four to hit him. You're casting what? Greater Heroism on myself. Yep. Probably should have done that at the beginning. <laughs> should have actually cast it on Egan because he's got a decent bow. Yeah, actually... If my shit will reload. I'm going to do that. Have a greater heroism. Which is plus four to my hit, and correct? Hit, saves, the yada yada. And okay. I'm going to five foot back. Okay, then we're back to initiative. Oh, baby. The crits are free, free flowing now. Crit on a reflex save, crit on an attack, crit on a save, crit on an initiative. Okay, Vincent, you're up. Uh, I'm going to... Right over here. Oh, I'll go on this side. Taking down 36. Okay, Egan. Roll a perception check to see if I can see him. Nope. I will hold my action until I can see him. Or hold my action until he comes around again. Okay, Leon. Put my bow away, draw my scythe. Okay. Why is that? Uh, it's either going to be epic or a large failure. We'll see. Let the games begin. 
What the hell is that? Uh, sorry, I disconnected and reconnected. Cause oh, that's just your entry thingy. Yeah. Okay, oh, Jerome, you're up. It was well timed. You doing anything, Jerome? I'm just gonna side speak foot into the mic. I'm gonna five foot and just ready to shoot this fucking thing. Okay. Then we're back to initiative. Egan, you're up first. Uh, I'm going to wait till he shows up. Leon? Oh, ready and attack for when I see him. Jerome? Five foot up north, ready and attack for when I see him. Okay, Vincent? I'm going to sneak across the road with my haste speed, uh, taking a 10 again. Um, I will ready a slow or a sound burst this time for if I see him. Okay. I've got a little attrition at this point. Yep. Egan, you're up. I'm going to wait till he sees, till I see him. Leon? When I'm ready to attack, all I get is a standard action when he shows up, don't I? Yeah, uh, yep. All right. I do nothing. Jerome? I do not. I, I ready an attack. Okay, Vincent? Um. Oh, is it, did he go another round without showing up? Yep. Uh, so he wanted to get at me. I'll uh, I'll cast a silent image. Um, over here. Uh, with a ghost sound, for the quiet footstep noises to make it seem like I'm uh I'm hiding poorly next to this tree. Uh, and I'll use silence spell for that. Um, meanwhile, I'll remain hidden in truth over here. My clever ploy that may or may not work. Uh, that's my turn. You're so sneaky. Okay. Um, after a couple of rounds pass, you begin to realize that he is not coming back. That's fun. Yeah, it's funny how some people, uh, are like, ah, oh, dragons are so hard to kill. And other people are like, ah, oh, dragons are so easy to kill. I was like, yeah, it just depends on how you play them. Yeah, definitely the scariest thing about dragons are their insane movement speed. And the breath weapon. And the really high... I mean, if they didn't have insane movement speed, I wouldn't care about the breath weapon. The breath weapon just makes the insane movement speed scarier. That's true. I'll, uh, I will um, solicit the party for healings. Okay. I'll do another pure light eight on you. Or a pure light on you. Actually, no. Scratch that. I'm going to do a lesser vigor on you. Okay.
and 17 back to agent. 17 back to me? Yes. Okay. Uh, 17, that's going to be 90, no, 83. You know, you can just type plus 17. Yeah. Okay, you doing anything else? Uh, I don't. I mean, he's gone, right? As far as we know. Okay, yeah, then I say we move on. You might be just hiding until all your spells wear off. Okay, what's your plan? I guess keep moving towards the bandit camp. Okay, you want to give me a survival check? Nice. How close do you want to get to the camp? Guys? I mean, within, within visual range to confirm, I mean, for sure. Well, we found the camp. What's visual range? Uh, I mean, I, I'd say a couple hundred feet to start with. That way we can kind of look at it over at a, at a larger scale and then figure out what the fuck, how we want to go about it. That works. Just get up close, check it out, and then move on from there. Okay, so you're all going up. I think Vincent should be the only one going up. Uh, you want me to sneak in? Yeah, yeah. Okay, how long is this after the dragon fight? Um, that's a good question. I didn't even. Uh, decide when the dragon fight was. Uh, be about two hours after the dragon fight. God, I swear, Cat's Grace is like half my second level spell. I'll, I'll okay. cast Cat's Grace on myself and sneak in. Uh, okay. I will try and keep an eye out for any tripwires or anything. Um, uh, otherwise, I'll slowly stealth in with a 36. You see the map? Yep. Okay, well, you can proceed at your leisure. Uh, I see the map, but it's all black for me. Yeah, it's because you're not on it. Oh, okay. 
I will sneak up that way. Do I have to, so do I just get a perception check if I'm near a tripwire or do I have to know what space I'm looking at or what? Generally what I do is just roll a perception check to uh, determine the square that the trap's in. Just for brevity. 20. Okay, you notice there is a trip tripwire across the path. Where at? On the path somewhere. Alright, uh, can I move around it? Yeah, it's just a tripwire. It's not a major obstacle. Okay, I'll move around it or step over it. You don't want to disarm it? Uh, as long as I know where it is, I don't see a reason to. Unless the party's following. No, they're leaving you to again. die alone in the wilderness again. I, I don't want to fuck it up again like I have before. Uh, 23 for more traps. Okay, there is another tripwire. Uh, I'll step around it. Okay. Keep moving forward looking for tripwires. Okay, you don't see anything as of yet. Uh, I see. So all these tents I'm seeing, are those, do they look like they were recently set up, or do they look like they're kind of weather-worn and abandoned? Um, this is actually the same area that you investigated last time, except all the tents were gone. Um, ah. Some of the tents look pretty beat up, um, but the really nice big ones look relatively new uh definitely only uh a year or two old is it oh so like i can i tell if they're recently set up i guess i need to get closer um what are you using to determine if they were recently set up uh, like i said you like, were here two weeks ago and all these tents were gone oh okay yeah that's pretty good evidence then um i don't really see a reason to stick around Without the party at this point. Um, man, I should have grabbed Invisibility Sphere. I keep wanting to do that, but I'm like, no, that's such an impractical spell. I want it to work, but it's never gonna. So then I don't take it, and because I don't take it, I never get to even try. Well, uh, yeah, I'll go back and get the rest of the party. And I'll, I'll carefully avoid the tripwires. Invisibility Sphere is a really good spell if you are in a situation where moving in a tight group isn't really an issue. Yeah, basically everywhere here because we're always out in the open. Um, yes and no, but you make yourself super prone to things like fireballs. Sure, but if you're getting the surprise round, you can deal with that. And hopefully you're getting the surprise round if you're invisibility sphering. Uh, yeah, I'll tell them that there are new tents there since last time we were there. Uh, and since that was two weeks ago, that's a pretty good sign that the bandits are back. Um, and I'll tell them that there are a couple tripwires. Question, did anyone take that Masterwork Armor Weave cloak from fucking Oleg's? Yes, what do you... I don't remember who, but someone did. Okay. Might have been uh, Belagar. Yeah, Belagar's uh, grabbed every piece of equipment he could get his hands on. Yep, he has it. He has that in one of the rings. Although it's the unidentified ring, so he doesn't have that yet. Then I was going to say, because that would bump me up to DR5. Yeah, I mean, but someone else already took it. Want to get? You can hold it for him, but he it, he got it assigned for loot, so yeah, that's all right. Jesse already gave me his his heavy plate, so that's good enough for now. Okay, what's your plan? Um, are we just gonna go charge in like a bunch of the barbarians? We are speak into the mic. Are we just gonna charge in like the barbarians? We are. Uh, I will say, give me one minute and then charge in after me. Uh, but I'll also point out where the uh, tripwires are. Okay, yeah, can I touch your, can I stroke your shaft for like a couple rounds? Oh yeah, go ahead. 
Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter what game you want to stroke in the staff. Yeah, I stroked Joe's staff in the. In the that was. Uh, 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 staff. Pardon? You stroke his staff, so he forgot to buff. You made him too happy. <laughs> okay. Um, in lieu of me already casting greater heroes, and that's not on there. And a, and you're gonna get all those buffs still, but you're also gonna get full strength plus four. So okay. So uh, don't give him bull strength. Don't give him bull strength. No. Why? Because I'm going to give him an animalistic power. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, so I get magic vestment, which is plus one armored class. I'm just going to check. I think it might be higher now that we're six. Um. Oh, no, it's eighth level. That goes to two. Okay. And then magic weapon, I believe, is yeah, it's just a plus one because it's just the basic one. That's fine. Uh, still bumps my AC to nineteen. Uh, you get okay, so just magic vestment and magic weapon. Okay, perfect. This is where we. I wish we had Belagar. Then I'd have someone to baleful transposition with. And I'll do a heroism on myself because I have that as a healing spell. Okay, and but you did cast heroism on me as well. Oh, that's go That's long gone. Okay, then uh, I will give myself my greater heroism from Tempest. Ten minutes a level, which is plus four to hit and saves. And Leon, what is your fucking animalistic shit do? Uh, plus four strength, dex, and con for the next ten minutes. Okay, that is fucking great. What level is that? Level two. Level two spell that casts three level two spells? Uh, I had to take the ability enhancer feat, so all those spells type of uh, spells, I get plus two to those. Oh, okay. Why did you have to take the ability to enhance your feet? Because I made my character a buffer. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, that's 80 minutes of three, all of my buffs on you, Agan. It might be longer, so track is separate. Downside, it's only a minute a level, so you got 10 minutes with it. Oh, it's only a minute a level. Holy shit. Okay, we, gotta, we gotta go. Like, that's like the last thing we cast and we go. Yeah, I'll hold it till we're <laughs> right, right, right before we roll in. Yeah, I'll cast Expeditious Retreat and uh, move in. Um, and like I said, you guys come in like a minute after so I can I can find a good spot. Okay. Now the real question, do we just want to go in? Trip all the wires purposefully? No. No, we do not. I mean, depends on if they have any spellcasters. Bring them to us. Well, spellcasters aren't going to come to you. They're going to stand there and buff and then find you. Man. I'm, the only thing I'm worried about because I know John likes to do it, is fucking, um, he's gonna get me encircled with all these fucking rogues, man. Uh, That's just what you do with rogues. If only you were a barbarian. Oh, uh, you know, if only I had better cleave. Uh, I'm stuck in the tree. Get out of the tree, then.
So is it fair to assume I can step around the tripwires and tell the group about them? Uh, you can step around them and tell them that there are tripwires, but if you're sneaking up, you're going to have a hard time conveying information to people who are uh, continually getting further and further away from you as you get closer and closer to your enemies. Yeah, that's fine. I'll tell them that there are tripwires. There should be two of them along this path, and make sure you find them and not trip them, unless you really want to. Anyone got prayer? One round of movement. I'll cast it like when we get surrounded. Fair enough. Uh, I will move up here. Do I see anyone? Any people, any traps, any sounds? Uh, you, well, you don't see any people immediately, I don't think. I don't think you have line of sight to anybody. Uh, I see that thing. Yeah, that's not people. I put it on the map layer because I assumed you could see it. But it's the only thing All on right. the map layer I think you or on the uh, token layer you can see. Uh, well, it's something. Um... It's only got 30% more hit points than you. Yeah, it's not nothing to worry about. I'll move over here. Okay. Hear anything? Hear anything? Another giant wolf. This is the third round of 10 before they would be moving in. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna, hmm, so what time of day is it? Like, there should be people around the camp, right? Uh, yeah, you can definitely hear activity around the camp. Um, I just think that where you are, you just, between the bushes and the tents and the obstacles, you just can't see anyone. All right. Um, you can almost see one of the fires from where you are, if you look way up at the edge of your view. There would be, uh, cooks and servants and whatnot muddling around in the center area there. So I can see, like, non-combat people somewhere around here? Yep. I will move, uh... I'm getting scared. I'm going to move over here and uh, see if I can find anything. One more perception check. Okay, you have a little bit better view from there, but nothing significant. Um, you can see a little bit of that second tent. I'll move over here. Why not? Oh, because you're standing right beside the opening of a tent? Uh, yes. Is there anyone in that tent? Like, can I hear them before I move around to the front of it? Uh, you can roll a perception check. Yeah, you can hear somebody in the tent. Ah, okay. Uh, I will move back out to the periphery then and wait the rest of the group. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll stop right here. Okay, you're just going to wait out the rest of your minute? Okay, rest of the party, what are you doing? I mean, we're gonna wait till he his minute up, and then I'm gonna slowly advance in. Okay. I mean, I can't stealth, so I have no fucking stealth to this point. So there's no point in me even trying. Yeah, your heavy plate pretty much nerfs your stealth. That's my 50 movement. If the other two want to move up, they can. I'll just double move up beside you. And as they approach, I'll basically be looking for the first signs of alarm, like when the bandits notice there's people about. 
Okay, well, the first sign of alarm will be them tripping the wire that they didn't even look for. Well, I, he told us where it was. I thought... No, I can't we... tell you where it is. I told you to look for two wires oh, along that specific enough. path. <laughs> <laughs> so when you trip the wire, uh, you can hear a bunch of pots and pans dangling and falling to the ground. And then you can hear the wolves start barking. Be ready, ready, boys. I will keep an an eye out for anyone who looks like a spellcaster of some sort. I will move another 50 feet in. To here? Well, just stay where you are. Mm -hmm. It's initiative. Oh, okay. You guys move up and trip the trap, and that's initiative. I was just updating the log so that I had it uh, ready for next session. Gotcha. Okay, then we can move to initiative. Dex is a 20 right now, so 6. Did anyone figure out how to set the default view to just list on uh, folders? I assume that's a no. Uh, I don't know offhand. Wow, I rolled a giant load of shit. Okay, Vincent, you're up first. I will continue to hide and delay. Okay. I'm going to skip you ahead on initiative so we remember for next time because we're coming up on the end of the session. Egan? Alrighty, I'm going to move up to here. And I don't see nothing. So, uh, oh, wait, I do. I can... Uh, I can charge that wolf, can't I? You can do anything you want. Yeah, I'm going to charge this wolf. AC 21. Okay, fuck it. Uh, I'm going to power attack. You're power attacking the wolf? Yeah. Okay. He probably has like a plus 20 to hit I have plus 21 to hit right now. <laughs> okay. So there's no fucking reason not to. And I'm going to go my full my full base attack bonus. Really 
send in an article. Of course I hit the one, which, again, the one is what I could have fucking failed on anyway. Although I could luck that up to a four and still be okay. Well, make your choices. Yeah, I'm going to luck it up to four. That way I, I at least get one of my hits, because that's the only hit I get out of charge. So. Okay. Uh, damage is... Oh, did I change my damage fucking macro? I did not. Now I did. Damage plus... And I get double strength, which strength right now is 24, so that's 7. So that's 14 for strength. 15, 17, 18, 19, and 12 is 31. 35 points of damage. I rolled a fucking parrot who's on that that's bullshit you go girl all right either way he's he's pretty fucking low health all right that's my turn okay well the emerald dragonette happens to be right beside you so he'll fly by dragonette. and breathe on you okay you roll your fortitude save. Four to save. Oh wait, I get. You get plus four from that. You're right. Twenty. Okay, that's enough. Oh, you didn't go sleepy, sleepy. You didn't go beddy bed. Good to know. It's excellent to know. Very excellent to know. Gosh, I'm rolling shit. Okay, so you are poisoned for three rounds. And I take seven points of damage? Is no, that that's, poison? Is it... No, that's oh, how okay. long you're poisoned for, and you get half of it for making the save. Three rounds. Okay. So here, where's a fucking poison-looking thing? Sure, we'll go this, and we'll do three. Okay, then we're on to Leon. Alright, I had a double move to get there. Okay, Jerome. Oh, shit, I skipped over the wolf. Yes, thank you, John. Thank you. Oh, there's another one. Oh, come on. Move that one over, John, and bring bring the fourth one in. Bring them in. I don't think it'll matter. There's not a chance in hell you're going to be able to kill them all. <laughs> this is when Pathfinder Cleave would come in for real. Power. I don't. Well, I... you just power attack for your entire base attack, which is the maximum you can do. Is, and you couldn't even kill 12. one of them. 
You're right. You're right. I couldn't. So bring, bring the best case scenario, I, I'm not bringing the fourth one in. They're not fucking intelligent. Well, they move up to flank you and the third one moved in because there was a square. The fourth one moves its movement. It can't get to you. Fair enough. But the best part is four trip attacks at plus seven is probably going to be enough to leave you not making attacks next round. That's an athletics check, isn't it? Uh, no, that is a strength check. Oh, it's a strength check. Okay. That being said, you apparently have plus two from his... Uh... I have plus... Uh, I, right now, my strength is a plus seven. Yeah, so you'd have the same bonus as the wolf would have. So it comes down to d20, and we all know John rolls better d20. Oh, than shit. I, do. I got that wrong. Fucking great. It's not base attack, it's strength and size. So it's actually 10. So it's base attack plus strength for. No, it's not base protect. attack. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's strength it's and size. size. And strength. For some reason, I had the base attack and the size modifier in there. Okay, so they are plus 9, 11 with the flank. I assume they're all hits. They're all hits. So, D8 plus 6. What's your AC? 19. And that's even with the plus 4 that's, deck? Well, I have uh, heavy plate on, so the decks don't come into play. Oh, yeah. Okay, so 12, 12, and 13 for the damage. Then you can give me 3 trip attacks. So, minus 25. Uh, and that's three rolls. Okay, D20 plus. So it's D20 plus my strength and my size modifier. What's my size modifier? Zero. Zero? Oh, cool. Okay. So you have to roll above average on two of them and average on the third. Good luck. Okay, fail. Well, nothing matters after that. You go down. Okay. Cool, I'm prone. Okay. Um, then the archers will go. Okay, so the two northern ones will attack you. So two hits with that. D8 plus five. Who are they attacking? They're attacking Egan. At a minus four? Archer's at a minus four? He's prone. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay. So, yeah, neither of those, those would hit. hit. Never mind, then they'll attack you. 21 and 20 hit on you, uh, you uh, Leon? Mm-hmm. Nope. What's your AC? 26. How is your AC 26? I buffed up. Yeah, but what did you do to buff your AC up that high? Yeah. Up that high. Uh, Dragon Skin gave me five natural armor, and Magic Vestment gave me three. You're a ninth level caster? Yes. Oh, okay. He has bonuses to transmutation, I think. Three. No, that's fair. Mass event two, one every three, right? Is it one every three? Yeah, it's one and every three. And again, zero, so it would be one higher then. Okay, so I'd be at a 20 AC. 
not like it matters against the wolves, but uh, it, it still matters because it, it changes whether they can hit me if they roll one lower. So it does matter. Uh, so Jerome, twenty six, nineteen, hit on you. All of those eighteen. Speak into the mic. Eighteen hits. So yes, the twenty six and nineteen are both hits. Do you have me turned down, Jerome? Because you're like the only one that has an issue hearing me. I might have. Yeah, I had trouble hearing you at first there. Click on them and turn them up, John. I have them at 90. That'd probably do it. But everybody can't hear you. It's just, I'm the person you're talking to, so I need to be able to hear you. <laughs> okay, so you can take the first 10 points there, Jerome. Oh, so bo both of them, 10 and 11. And then we are on to uh, Vincent. Uh, I will uh, watch watch my party die. Um, I'll move up here to do it. Uh, can I reach that? I sure can. Uh, that'll be my... Uh, I guess I'll double move since I'm not doing anything else. Move up to here. Uh, I'll still take a 10 on my stealth. I'll, I'll, I'll hide behind this tree. That's my turn. Okay, well, we can call it there and pick up fresh next time. Okay, well, it was fun to get switched to Tuesdays for some reason. Just... Or if you no. stop booking raids on our D and D night, uh, that's a permanent thing. I, I, we would switch to, we had switch to Tuesday, so I'm like, okay, well, that's is a perfect time to start a raid group. So I started a raid group and set it for Fridays. I totally get that, but you also knew that that was our original time. I just didn't expect him to be switching jobs back. Switching jobs. I, I wasn't expecting him to switch back either. I just knew that Fridays are always an easier night for everybody to get together. Weeknights, people have to deal with work and other issues. That's that's the issue with reading and WoW, too. Right. No, it's totally fair. I'll talk to you guys later. i got to wake up in a couple hours. Peace. Okay, later. 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 Hey, John, I sent you a screenshot in your messages. Yeah, I saw that. What is that? Uh, that should be how you do your default view for folders.